I'm pretty sure that your parents have told you this more than once. Do not hang around with classmates who have poor grades. Well, at least my mom tells me this quite often. I never listen to her though, because I believe in my classmates but not their scores. In other words, I make friends with people, not with numbers. But I understand why parents are saying so, that they are doing this for our well-being. But we are not unfamiliar with such situations that we just jump, jump into a conclusion when we see or hearing something. For example, we might have a certain stereotypes toward a particular group of people. Another classic example is that many Westerners will think that all Chinese are Kung Fu masters, just like Bruce Lee. Similarly, many Chinese people will think that all Westerners share the same culture and tradition. Does that sound weird? Mm. But what really amazed me is the rationale behind this. In other words, what is under the iceberg tip? So what is the determinant that leads us to a such automatic and unconscious judgment? Well, not even a judgment, but rather than an automatic and unconscious pre-judgment, I would say. So you may shout out this term, unconscious bias. Attention, the term bias here is a neutral term. So what is an unconscious bias? Simply put, it is a thinking process that happens without we even knowing it. And let me quote how WebMD described unconscious bias. Unconscious bias, also called implicit bias, is the attitudes or stereotypes people hold deep in the unconscious parts of their brains. These biases exist of your control and they might not match how you feel towards when you give conscious thoughts to the subject. Implicit bias guide how you respond to people or situations without you realizing that they are part of your thinking. And this description exactly explains the examples I just mentioned. And we must understand that we learn stereotypes from various of resources. Books, TVs, movies, just name a few. And nowadays, especially on the internet. Every coin has two sides. Internet had indeed provided us various of free information. But at the same time, it could also be extra materials that stereotypes were built on. For example, we might found tons of thoughts, opinions that are similar to ours. At this situation, affinity bias, one of different kind of unconscious bias, will be created. Affinity bias refers to the tendency toward people who share the similar interest, background, and experience. And we must understand that unconscious bias also happens when we do not understand a person completely or deeply. For example, I have a classmate who is very tall and strong, and of course he likes to play basketball. But when he plays bas basketball, he always get aggressive and tend to swear a bit. At first, we all think that, oh, he is a bad temper and hard to get on with. But actually, later we found out that he is caring and tend to consider it towards other people. Also, unconscious bias not only changed our attitudes toward things, but also toward people. And just like the example I mentioned, unconscious bias will have a great impact on our life. And um, when we are choosing an academic course to learn, we must be sensible that we are not just scared away by how a course appears to be. For example, um, I have a friend who teaches foreigners to speak Chinese. And he told me that many people just run away from it merely because their automatic judgment that Chinese is an extremely hard language when they saw a completely different writing. As a result, I believe that we need to know some methods that may help us avoid unconscious bias. So here are some tips that may help you to avoid unconscious bias. 
First and most important, be honest with yourself. Consciously identify unconscious bias and try to eliminate them. Yes, use consciousness to tackle unconsciousness. Second, listen to different voices. Remember that there is no absolutely correct answer toward any question. As long as you listen to different opinions and thoughts, you can understand that question completely. Third, do not label. We will be offended by others if they are labeling us on certain stereotypes, and we are feeling like we are unfairly treated. So, why should we do this to others? Oh, by the way, don't label yourselves either. So, what do you think? Hang on a minute, don't hasten to the conclusion just yet. Thank you.